With OBS Studio being open source software, add-ons and plugins can be freely developed for it to improve the software's functionality. So here's my list of the top three best plugins for OBS Studio in no particular order. With that said, my name is Chris, this is Coalition Gaming, and today I'll be your stream technician. I'd just like to throw it out there real quick that this video is brought to you by Stream Elements and OBS Live. Some of our most popular videos are on Stream Elements and OBS Live itself, so make sure you check those out. They'll be linked in the description below. Anyways, let's get to it. Number three, OBS NDI. This one is one that is near and dear to my heart because I've used it for so much and have done so much with it. As a matter of fact, it's our most popular video on the channel. And the second video that we've done on a tutorial for OBS NDI is quickly becoming one of our most popular videos as well. So needless to say, I have a lot of experience with it. So yeah, Palakis is the name of the developer who worked on this. The plugin is just called OBS NDI. And what it allows you to do is take a old computer, a second computer, spare computer, laptop, it could be Linux, Mac, or Windows, and you can use that to do the encoding for your stream. It's really great because using OBS NDI to offload the load from your main system onto the second system to do the majority of that encoding will help maintain performance, FPS, and all that stuff on that main system. If you guys wanna know more about it, those two other videos that I mentioned, they'll be linked in the description below, as well as a full written article that you guys can follow if a video is not really your thing. So again, check the links down in the description below. OBS NDI, one of the best plugins for OBS Studio. Number two, OBS WebSocket plus Touch Portal. Now, OBS WebSocket is another plugin developed by Palakis. What a freaking awesome dude, right? Coming up with such cool stuff for OBS. Now, what WebSocket does is it allows outside, I guess, software to control functionality of OBS. Now, the most mainstream, I guess, most obvious way to use this is to control like your scenes and sources and all that stuff. Well, there's a program out there called Touch Portal. And if you use Touch Portal together with OBS WebSocket, it's actually required for you to use Touch Portal, but you know, that's besides the point. If you use that stuff, Together, you basically can get a low cost or basically free Stream Deck alternative. Now, if this one sounds familiar, it's because we also have a video on it and that'll be linked right over here as well as down in the description below. Now, something that's really awesome with Touch Portal, again, is that it's free. It works on phones. You utilize your phone or tablet or other device like that to be able to be your Stream Deck. And one thing that this has that a Stream Deck doesn't is wireless functionality. I know that Stream Deck came out with uh, their phone version, but it's, I believe, a monthly subscription cost to be able to use it, while, whereas this, you can, you can use it for free or pay once and use it forever. And yeah, that is a uh, essentially a Stream Deck out of your phone. And you can use that for all sorts of cool stuff. That's some other stuff that we're gonna be working on to show you guys. So OBS WebSocket used with Touch Portal, you can basically get a Stream Deck, change scenes, turn sources on and off. You can also control music, up, you know, play, pause, all that sorts of stuff, as well as make it do key binds. So if you were wanting to, let's say, uh, disk mute something in, uh, for example, mute your mic, set a, a mic hotkey to turn it off and on as a source in OBS, you can set a hotkey in OBS. Let's say it's control alt one. And then you can go into touch portal and map it to press the same thing. So then you don't have to actually press those three keys in order to mute your mic. You can just press the one button on your touch portal. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's got a lot of functionality. You can do all sorts of stuff with it. It's essentially a macro deck, I guess you could call it. So just like how a uh, stream deck has so much functionality, so does touch portal. Anyways, a more in-depth video on this will be linked right over here as well as down in the description below. Number three, VST plugins. A big part of streaming and video production in general is audio. Having really good audio is actually a lot more important than you might think because if you have subpar audio in your streams or videos or anything like that, uh, yeah, people aren't going to want to listen to that. They probably won't stick around. So it's really important to have good audio and VST plugins comes in right then just for that. Well, 
OBS does have its own set of filters and stuff to help with your audio quality, and they're great and all, but if you want to take things to another level, VST plugins is where it's at. And a popular uh, VST plugin source where you can get them for free, well, it's called Reaper. Now with Reaper, there is a paid software version for you to do stuff with. However, if you just want the VST plugins, you'll want to download the Replugs VST FX Suite. And with that, you have a 32-bit or 64-bit option, so make sure you select the correct version for your operating system. More than likely, it'll be 64-bit and uh, then you're basically off to the races. One of the main features of these VST plugins is you get much finer control over your audio devices. So on your microphone, you have much finer control of noise gates, compression, EQ, background noise stuff, uh, just so much minute control over it that you can tune it to give you the best quality sound another level above what the, again, what the normal filters and OBS can give you. So it's very powerful, powerful stuff. VST plugins are used in professional audio recording. So the fact that you can use VST plugins right in OBS, right into your stream, or whatever recording that you're doing in OBS is actually a very powerful option that you guys might, might, might wanna explore. So the install process, it's pretty straightforward. Download it, run the installer, and then when you go to add the VST plugins, it's essentially like adding any other audio filter on your device. You just go into the properties of that audio device microphone, go into filters, and then if you click add, you'll see an option for VST plugins, and then you just select the one that you want. Again, uh, there'll be a full written article on this down linked in the description below, as uh, well as lots of uh, 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 there's a lot of resources on the VST plugins for OBS as well, so do a little searching and you'll find something good on that. And now one that I just, I can't forget to mention it, and that's OBS Live. OBS Live is a add-on, I guess, for OBS Studio that really integrates a lot of really awesome functionality into OBS Studio. So you get your activity feed, able to control your uh, what game that you're playing, the title of your stream, you have an activity feed, Everything is dockable, movable, all that sort of stuff. You can control media requests right inside of it. And then if you have a Stream Deck, you can also tie in the functions with alerts and Kappa Gens and all sorts of effects of Stream Elements functions and OBS Live into the Stream Deck itself. Yeah, that, that will be linked in the description below as well. So make sure you guys check that out. OBS Live adds a lot of awesome functionality to OBS, making it sort of an all-in-one solution. For the most part, I, the way I use OBS Live uh, with OBS Studio, I end up not necessarily needing to keep another window open for Twitch to monitor things. I can do it all inside of OBS Live. And that's that really helps you know keep things less cluttered when streaming, which... If you guys know, when it comes to streaming, cl window clutter becomes a huge problem. <laughs> Anyways, there's a lot of information in this video to explore, so make sure you guys check all the links in the description below. And uh, yeah, the OBS Live website is actually a really good resource for all sorts of streaming related things, so make sure you bookmark that page as well, because there'll always be more articles going up there as well. So, my name is Chris, this is Coalition Gaming, I've been your stream technician today, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, we always got more coming. Make sure you uh, hit all the links all on our socials, everything is linked in the description below, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. We can talk more tech and talk more streaming over in our Discord, also linked in the description below, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>